Acetylcholine in your asthma explained. Asthma is a long-term disease where sensitive airways become narrower and inflamed. If you have asthma, you may cough more than normal, wheeze or find it difficult to breathe, or your chest may feel tight. Asthma affects the airways in your lungs. Airway muscles close or open the airway passage. In people with asthma, the inside of the airways can become swollen, making the airway smaller. The swelling and airway narrowing is made worse by triggers in everyday life. These triggers include pollen, pet hair, tobacco smoke, dust, and pollution from what's around you. Breathing in these things can make your asthma worse and even lead to an attack. During an asthma attack, your airways become even more sensitive and narrower in response to triggers, making it much harder for you to breathe. Acetylcholine is a chemical made by your body to send messages from the brain to other parts of your body, such as the airways of the lungs. It is important in everyday lung function, helping with normal muscle movement and mucus production in the lungs. In people with asthma, too much acetylcholine can cause problems. It can make your airways get narrower, and it can cause your body to produce mucus, which can block the airways. These things make it difficult for the air to get out of your lungs. Acetylcholine also causes the body to produce other chemicals in your lungs that can make the airways thicker and narrower. Anticholinergics are a type of drug to treat asthma. There are short-acting and long-acting anticholinergics. Anticholinergics work by reducing the effects of acetylcholine on the airways. This keeps the airways open and reduces mucus in them. These drugs reduce your asthma symptoms and the risk of attacks.